no matter how expensive or how cheap the device, they all heat up your ears. But there's something special and different about this Jabra Evolve 275 that I want to share with you. Now, before we get to all the reviews and all of my insight on this, I want to bring out somebody that's going to be joining me during the broadcast today. That's my colleague, Mr. Ori, virtual Ori, where are you? There he is. Hey, Ro. What's Always up, Ori? Always a pleasure. What's How up? are you What's doing? Up, <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Always yeah? a pleasure to be back on Amazon Live. Mm -hmm. I can see that we have a viewer already, so uh, shout out to you. I have gone in and had the opportunity to use it myself, put my 20 years of expertise at work for you, so that when you hear me talk about this, you know that I've gone through try to look for bugs i actually try to break it or if i can i've taken it out i've walked around i've jogged with it i've walked my dog with it i've done a few things so i can answer some of those questions for you and if we don't get to it today we're also going to do some follow-up videos on this as well so that you can get more in-depth analysis and more in-depth details on what this product can and can't do so ori should we get to it start with the unboxing Awesome. Yes, All right. we should. All right. So let me let me get my notes out of the way. See, I got to keep notes. Otherwise, I will not be able to stay on track. So if you've been looking for headphones to upgrade and you've been working out of your office or maybe from your home office, this is a product that you definitely want to take a look at because it, I believe it to be a game changer for a lot of folks that are going to be using this for both work and play. One of the big reasons and uh, that I really like this uh, headphones by Jabra, this new Evolve 2, is some of the changes they've implemented inside. They may not be so obvious, so I'll go ahead and first start with some unboxing so you know what's inside the box and what comes with it. All right, now this version that I've got here, two things to, to, to note about this. This comes in the USB-A and USB-C. Right on the top it says USB-A. What that means is that in the box, you're going to get a Bluetooth dongle, and I'm going to show you to you in a second, that is compatible with USB-A. Otherwise, it would say USB-C right here on this box. Now, the other thing that this particular version comes with, it says on this side, yeah, there we go. I'll bring it up closer to the camera. It says certified from Microsoft Teams. Don't be scared by that. Uh, all that means is that if you are a Microsoft Teams user right out of the box, it's going to work. It's going to plug and play. You won't have to do anything. If you're not using Microsoft Teams, then you may just need to make some settings to uh, adjustments to the settings. So in the box, as you can see, it's a brown, uh, not a brown, a gray cardboard type box. Jabra has gone to a lot of eco packaging. They've gone out of their way to try to eliminate a lot of the um, packaging that was involved, a lot of plastic and all that stuff. So they've gone to a lot of cardboard and I applaud them for that. Right out of the, right out of the box, you're going to get a set of instructions on the buttons, what they do, how to turn it on, um, how to pair it. Um, and how to use it with your computer and mobile. One of the things you wanna do before you even open this up and start using it, I would recommend that you charge it for about 15 to 20 minutes. That's gonna give you the full battery. And on this particular Jabra model, you're gonna get up to 36 hours of talk time, of battery time. So let's take a look at what you get here. This is the carry case. The carry cases have made of this soft velvety material. I really like this. So I really like what they've done there. It's just really nice. I just love the feel of this particular thing. I don't know if you can hear. I'll put it up to the microphone. Let's see. Can you hear that, Ori? Yeah. Sounds uh, fuzzy. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's <laughs> a, nice to touch. Way. You can't say that about a lot of these travel cases. They're just, you know, either plastic or hard. This is not hard. I like it. Uh, so let's let's take it out of this velvety material. And two things that are important that come inside of this travel case is the charging cable. This again is a USB-A version. So the end that goes into the computer or your charging station will be the, a USB-A style. Now what goes into the headphones itself is a USB-C style. Yeah. There we go. So this is the USB-C style charging. So this is going to go into the headphones, into the Jabra Evolve 275. And on the other end, you've got your standard USB-A connector that can go into your computer or let me see, let's play Vanna White again, or 
your charging brick. Okay. Yep. So that's the cable. And in the box, you also have what's their warranty. I'm sorry. It's their warning and declaration. So if you want some light reading, go ahead and read that. So in the box, a couple of things to note. I would recommend, Ori, give me a pro tip. Pro tip numero uno. One, one, when you get started, take it out of the box, charge it for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm going to throw in a second pro tip that I'm going to also recommend. When you get it out of the box, go ahead and plug this into your PC using the free Jabra Direct software or the Jabra mobile app. And the reason is that what I found in using this quite often when new headsets or new headphones come on the market, they're made literally a year ago, somebody designed this or maybe even two years ago. And so the firmware that's inside for release at the initial stages will be an older firmware and many things get updated. Google, Android, uh, apps, things change. And by the time you get it in your hands, you will want to update. And I found that to be the case as well for this, for several reasons. One, there was an issue, uh, a bug that was in the firmware and the firmware released with this product. The update that's free, these are free updates available online are right there. And if, if you're I'm looking at the screen, a couple of things, they had some performance updates. There was some volume level issues on the Mac OS, uh, meaning using it on your Chromebook or your MacBook, as well as there was some issue with the multi-point as and the multi-point connectivity and the audio when you connected both your PC and mobile. So this device will connect to both simultaneously. And when you did that, you experienced some audio issues when that happened. That's been corrected in the firmware update. All right. So now that you've charged it. Now that you have updated the firmware using the mobile app or the PC app, now we're ready to use this device. And let's talk about what's in here that's different from the older generation. And I'm just going to show this to you. This is the previous model. This on my right here, this one particular model was out for several years and it worked really well, it was a huge improvement on what most business like headphones were doing at the time. It incorporated this mute capability, excuse me, it incorporated a mute capability that uh, allowed you to mute the call by just flipping the boom, just rotating it. That was game changer. That was game changing. Then the Evolve 275, that one was just released a few months ago and they've improved dramatically on from the older model to this model. And I've used that the older model for years. And this newer model is definitely worth the upgrade. It's definitely worth looking at and considering as your go-to headphones for using it for quite some time. So let's talk about the new 75. What's in here that's important? There's a lot of new features, but let me give you some of the most important. The most important one, the most important one that I think that's on here, especially when you're wearing something, is the comfort level. Two things that are very improved from the last time. On the top, you've got this um, kind of padding that's very flexible, that will flex so it can rest on your head for quite some time. Now, the battery could go all day, 12 hours, 15 hours, 18 hours, eight hours, whatever the case may be that somebody's claiming, but you could never get that out of those, the ear pads. They're too hot. They, uh, they, your ears start turning red from using it for a, just even an hour or two. Now, what they've done with these ear cups is they have improved the ventilation dramatically on them. As you can see in the middle, you've got these vented holes. These vented holes also come with a different kind of foam. And Jabra's making a really big deal because yet they've changed the way they've designed the ear cups so that in the middle, you have virtually no foam, which also allows ventilation to pass through on both ends. So that if you're wearing it, right, the heat usually gets trapped all in here because this leather doesn't this leatherette it's not really leather but all, almost all headphones come in leatherette they're not real leather they're the leatherette as as it's called that does not breathe no matter how expensive the headphones this one will do that but it will take longer for your 
ear your ears to warm up because of this improved ventilation in the middle as well as this i will call it a vent hole they may have a different name for it but essentially it's a ventilation hole so that it can breathe in both directions now you'll notice this foam is blue if i were to cut this in half there's actually two types of foam inside the ear cups you've got this softer inner foam that's surrounded which you cannot see in this this particular ear cup. i'd have to cut it in half but surrounded by a white foam now the difference is that the 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 blue type of foam that you see here that's a softer foam that will allow you to wear it more comfortably through the day and allow you to get those couple of hours that you're looking for on a headphones the white which surrounds the outer portion of the ear cup that one is a much harder foam to also stabilize the um, the ear cup as well as to help provide a better seal while you're wearing it so that it it, it provides a, a much better active noise canceling or passive noise canceling if you happen to be using it without the ANC or active noise canceling turned on. So this is the number one thing that if you've been looking for a headset or a headphone that is more comfortable so that you can wear it longer through the day, this is the one. Now, when I wore it, uh, what I would find, I would start wearing it around 9, 9 ish, 930, somewhere in that neighborhood after I start, I start my day, my morning. Right around 2, 2.30 is when I would call it quits for the headphone to take it off. So I would get 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, around five continuous hours of usage. And right around there, I found that that's the point where I had to take it off, where my ear would start getting red or my ear tips. And that's what I find the most interesting part. And I've been trying to trying to figure out what's what's the most, what's the thing that provides the most of discomfort? Is it the heat or is it the padding for some people it's the padding for others it's the heat again this is, depends on your usage if you um i have more sensitive ears i tend to have more sensitive ears i find that the comfort sometimes will go before the heat right but they usually are tied together that's what i find if it's too hot in your ears it'll be uncomfortable and if it's uncomfortable it's usually because it's too hot that's a general rule now that that there's some all kinds of exceptions because the moment you put something on it can be uncomfortable for one person it can be comfortable for another now while we're here talking about the earpad go ahead back to the tabletop as we're talking about this let me show you about uh, these speakers so these are 40 millimeter speakers you get very good crisp audio the way you improve that is by using the app that's on the mobile device the Jabra sound app, as it's called, or the Jabra Direct app on your PC. So that'll help you improve and customize the actual uh, listening experience. And I'll, I'll go one step further than that, because when you download the mobile app, you will and we'll talk about the fast charge, um, fast pairing, which is what you're seeing uh, available on the uh, on some of the newer Android models and this is it will walk you through the listening experience so that it's dialed in for your type of hearing. So if you're if you don't really hear high notes or low notes or mid mid notes, it will try to dial in that listening experience once once you go through this quiz, this setup quiz and it'll also try to do that for both your right and your left ear. I've never experienced that with any headphone manufacturer. Uh, Jabber is trying to really understand its customer and they know that not one size fits all so you may have in your left ear better hearing than your right and in your right or vice versa or equal and what i've to me it reminded me or this is very similar to those I don't, I don't know if you've gone through those one of those hearing tests where you have dial tones and they're different pitches and different sound levels this is exactly what was happening when I was initiating the Jabra app for the first time on this device. It was giving me those different tones doo, 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 and really at different ranges so it could dial in that listening experience for my level of hearing. Very fascinating, very interesting that they're actually doing that. So it's improved the quality that you hear on the headphones itself. All right, so we get back to the, uh, so once you get started, all right, you get this thing all up and running with the mobile, uh, you will find that you've got a bunch of customization and 
We're going to create a video around this so that it goes into detail. Actually, you can't hear it, but it's my voice underneath this video talking about all these features. I could spend at least a good two hours going into de depth and detail. So if you're listening to me right now and you're watching us live, you have some questions about it. I'd be glad to answer your questions on this. All right. And so if you had to replace it, it's not very hard to take off and put it back on there. You just put it back on. It snaps. You can use their both left and right, uh, they're the exact same dimensions, so you don't have anything to worry about. So needless to say, I'll tell you, those ear cups are a huge improvement. Um, there is, again, no headphones that will remove the heat 100%. All of them have this heat, uh, uh, heat dissipation issue, and it's a matter of how they fit on your ears, how much air is circulating, but the best ones that I've found so far. Ear cups, huge improvement. Look at this profile. It is a very nice profile. Uh, let's see where you got me on the tabletop. You got a very nice, you got a sleek look, you know, the black, black on black. It's got a little bit of a, um, a, of a matte kind of silver. I don't know what color that, that would, what would you call that color? Or it's, it's not really silver. It's kind of gunmetal, right? Yeah, yeah yes, like a polished metal. metal. It's yeah, a, like a polished. Uh, it, yes, it's a polished metal, but it's not um, very uh, like, like, not like chrome, not like a chrome color that's very high polished and smooth. This one's like a matte. The other thing that I loved about the Evolve 75, the let's call it the first generation model that they've uh, taken into the second generation model is the microphone boom. So the microphone boom will allow you to do two things. When you're using it in this mode, how I've got it set up right now, they've call, they call it discrete mode right and when you flip and it's kind of tucked in here i guess i should flip it this way flip this boom out now you see this microphone boom reveals itself this is called they call it performance mode essentially this is for when you want conversations and you want to talk now when you have the boom in and in what they call discrete mode or essentially fold it in what happens is the ear cup has some built-in microphones to allow you to talk with the boom in. Now here's, give me another pro tip, or because this is gonna require a pro tip. Pro tip numero dos. So when you get this out of the box and you wanna use the headphones in what is called discrete mode, essentially with the boom flipped in, you may find that that may not work. You might think, why can't this headphones work with the boom in? It's not, there's nothing wrong with it. What happens is, and I found out when you get to use it uh, and you turn on the mobile app, you'll find that this has been disabled. The discrete mode is disabled. So in order to enable the discrete mode with the boom tucked in, you'll have to use the mobile app to enable the usage of the microphones on the ear cups so that you can use it in the discrete mode or essentially with the boom tucked in. Otherwise, the only way to talk is with the boom out, okay? Now, what is the audio quality like between the boom being out and the boom being in? I prefer to use to just to flip it out because with the boom being out, the microphone is going to be closer to your mouth and the audio that people are going to hear when you start talking, whether you're on a call on your phone, you're on a call with colleagues on Zoom or Teams or any other of those apps, you're going to find they're going to hear you much better with this versus this. Okay. So I, it's a preference thing. I went back on into the app and just disabled the discrete mode because I prefer when I'm getting a call or talking to colleagues online, I want that boom out. I want them to hear me the best way possible. And that's with the boom out. Now on the boom, you're going to have a couple of things going on here. Now, I really, really applaud Jabra for some of the improvements here as well. On the boom itself, you have a way to mute. So it's got a button right there. That button that's at the, essentially I'm showing you it from the bottom of the boom. This button allows you to mute the call and mute your microphone. So nobody hears you. So you press that button, you're muted. You press it again, it unmutes. Here's another pro tip. Give me another pro tip, Ori, about the mute. Go for it. Pro tip. 
Are we up on number three? Número yep. tres. Número tres. So, pro tip número tres. If you want to control how this mute capability performs, I highly recommend that you go into the mobile app or the PC app for the Evolve 2 by Jabra. This will allow you to customize what happens when you have either the boom out or in. One of the things that you can do through the software is the moment it goes in, it will essentially mute the call as well as you can mute yourself. Uh, let me, let me come back into focus here when you press that. Now you can disable how this boom performs, or you, I should say you can change how this boom performs when you're using the mute functions. But again, you need to be using that mobile software in order to change that because you can, um, disable this mute on and off from here, uh, from the software. I happen to like it. One of the things that out of the box that you're going to get with the function of this headphones and the notifications, you're going to get some tones rather than voice. And if you want the prompts, such as the prompts that say, uh, yeah, I'd leave that in. I'm going to talk about that mute again. And you want the prompt to tell you when you're muted, you you're going to want to go back into the software and enable the voice prompts. Otherwise the tones are what you're going to get. And you can disable that altogether. If you don't want anybody to tell you mute on or off or uh, any tones, it has the ability to turn those off, which is also a big improvement over many headphones. Many headphones, you're locked into whatever kind of notification or prompts. You can't disable them. You can't change them. With this particular pair of headphones, you can do pretty much anything you'd like to do to it to really dial in and customize that experience. So if you find the mute voice annoying, you turn it off or use the tone. Either way, you're going to be doing that. So now what, what I see here on the screen, I wanted to get back to here, the auto mute microphone. So when we use the boom arm, which is what this is, you can enable and disable a few things. As you see, you have a mute reminder tone. So when you all of a sudden, if you've been on any kind of conference call and people start to, Hey, your mute is on this, this puppy will tell you, you have your microphone muted. It can remind you for that so that you aren't just talking and talking and talking. And maybe you said something important for five or 10 seconds. And all of a sudden you realize you're not actually live. Your microphone has been turned off. This is one way to avoid that. And you can do that in the software so that you can get that tone that reminds you periodically that you are muted. Uh, the other thing while we're here, the ability for this to be intelligent, it's amazing how they've improved over the last few years from the previous model. So the moment I pick it up, if I want to enable, and you, you, we have it on the screen right now, there's a feature that allows you to essentially detect how this will interact with you when you put it on. So the moment I pick it up off, it has sensors built in to know that it's being picked up and lifted off the ground and going on my head. So it can get activated and it can essentially take a call when you're doing that as well as turn off or pause media. So if you're watching our podcast or what the tech podcast or watching something on YouTube or listening to your favorite streaming song or on your device, this has the ability to understand I'm going down and I'm being taken off the head. And while it's being flat on your table or something, not moving, it'll pause that music. It'll pause that video you're watching. I really like that feature because I don't have to do anything. I don't have to think about it. Just take it off, put it there. And maybe I'm cooking or something and I just put it down. I come back and I keep watching. Or if I go to the bathroom, whatever I happen to be doing, I just put it down. Boom. Come back. I just pick up right back where I left off. So that's what you get when uh, you've got that auto pause. Thank you, Ori, for, for finding that. So you can continue playing. You, you, again, something you can enable and disable. The continue playing audio, mute audio. Um, and the, the, the pausing capability is really amazing. So you can dial, again, dial that in. Uh, a couple of other really noteworthy things. Outside of the comfort of the headset, outside of the boom itself, is the ability to charge. So you have two ways you can charge this, this bad boy. One, you can charge it via the USB-C connector that's on here. Let me bring that up. There you go. That connector will allow you to charge 
the headset. That's one way to do it. But they've got this other method, this charging station uh, that's optional, and you would just lay it down and it will essentially charge your unit. Now, what's cool about that is that one huge reason people complain and have a headset break down is that they're not able to charge it. That's got to be in the probably the top five complaints. This port, after several hundred attempts, and sometimes not even several hundreds, that port right there that charges your headphones will break, will fray, even inside the maybe the pins get frayed or you get something something gunky in there it'll like prevent one of the pins from charging your headphones and when that happens you start having problems they you might not get a full charge it may not charge at all you may get some funky behavior uh this does this charging port also acts as an audio port so if you ran out of battery for whatever reason you can use the included usb cable to connect it to your pc and it will allow you to route audio through there. Now there is, uh, I don't have it here, but there, if, if you also get, there's an adapter that is a USB-A to USB-C, you can put it in here and uh, you can also convert the audio. So there's a couple of things you do. I'll, I'll talk about that later, but essentially the ability to charge this with either the USB-C or the charging adapter using just these two pins is worth the buy. So if you're thinking about, you know, e making your life a little easier, get the charging dock for this. That way you don't ever have to worry about those pins going bad on you when it comes to charging. So that, that'd be another pro tip. Now we talked a little bit about being uh, really good for Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams users, pay attention. You've got a button on here and it's this button right here this is a Microsoft Teams button. So you're wondering, well, what does it do? Well, if you're a Microsoft Teams user, one of the things that you get with this button is the ability to bring the Microsoft Teams app on your PC. Again, this only applies to your PC. It doesn't yet work on the Microsoft Teams mobile app in this way. Can you use it with your mobile app for Microsoft Teams? Yes, you can. You just won't get the integrated functions that I come with this button. Yes. Let me just jump in and s give a shout out to a couple of folks on Amazon. Yes, Live go ahead. Chat. We always want to shout out to our folks. Yep. Go for it. So, uh, hello, Rachel. Thank you. She says, uh, nice headphones. And we also got MillerMe805 asking us Rams or Bengals. <laughs> oh, for this weekend. I'll be watching the Super Bowl. I'd give the edge to the Rams because they're at home. They, are, they know the field. They know all the dimensions. They know how to play on that field. So I have to give the edge a little bit to the Rams. I give the edge to the Rams for all the intangibles that come around playing at home, especially in a game like this. Uh, all right, Mike. So thanks for tuning in, Mike. I appreciate you uh, chiming in. Rams, by a touchdown. All right. Where all right. were we, Ori? <laughs> Get me back on so, track. Uh, back to back to our uh, Java Evolve 275 <laughs> headset. Shout out again to our viewers on Amazon. Thank you for tuning into Tech One Two every week for your tech questions, especially in office technology, and also, you know, for some football trivia. Right, Ro? Football Absolutely. Fo <laughs> Look, I, I I played football. I could talk about Brady. He's retiring. I'm just I'm just pulling out some of my notes to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, Awesome. But but we'll get back on track. So I think we were talking about the app and some of the features on here. Usually the first step is a friction point for a lot of people, and that's the pairing side of things. So let me just tell you some improvements here. The headphones come with the fast pairing capability that's that goes with Android. What that means is I put on the Bluetooth on my phone. And if you could go find that footage, Ori, that'd be great. Um it's it's right at the beginning there we go right when you know and, and i'll talk right through it then you get go to pair you turn on the app it as long as you have your bluetooth on the android device will recognize that these pair of headphones have that fast pairing capability and now you will see exactly stop it right there all of a sudden this pop-up comes on the mobile phone what you're seeing here and it's trying to connect to it. Now, what you need to do is to make sure that the headphones are set to pairing mode. And on this pair of headphones, it's very easy. There's a dedicated button 
I love having a dedicated button that allows it to pair when you do it. I really don't like in this many, many devices that are Bluetooth enabled out there where you got to use one button for like seven different functions. You don't get that with the Jabra. What you get is you just have to turn it on, put it into Bluetooth mode. You see this button here. I'm going to push it down towards the Bluetooth logo that you see right here. Okay. So I'm going to just bring it down and hold it for a few seconds and you'll get this prompt that comes up on the screen that you see right now. It starts looking for that device and looking to connect it. So this is a very easy process and you'll see, boom, device connected. And in the background, you see automatically it changed and now we're connected to the device. Uh, so now the headphones are on your mobile phone. And then it, there's a bunch of tests that we've talked about previously that it will do so that you can have the best listening experience. But the Bluetooth pairing capability on this out of the box for Android is like nothing else before. It works in the same type of fashion for iPhones. And on the box, you will see that it does have that fast pair logo as well as made for iPhone. Now, if you have users, because this is also designed for work, this is a work device. When you have a device that you send to users, let me, let me go back. Ori, give me a pro tip. Pro tip numero cuatro. If you've got folks in your office or outside the office that you're sending these headphones to, they will appreciate the fact that they can pair easily to the device they're using, regardless if it's of an Android or an iPhone. In both cases, Jabra has updated their headphones for what's called fast pair, and that applies to Android devices that support it, as well as iPhone, where you get a, a very fast pairing with the Bluetooth connectivity. So your users, and if you're in charge of those users, whether you're an IT manager, if you're an IT manager, an office manager, or some other type of manager that's in charge of these of headphones or what you use for communications device, you will appreciate that you won't get calls throughout the day or in the middle of the night or in the morning or whenever that somebody can't use the headphones because they can't even get to step one, which is pairing it with your cell phone. So that level of frustration will come way down. It's a friction point for a lot of folks. You'll appreciate that once you get going. Um, okay, so that's another pointer on this device. A couple of other things that I want to also let you know here is that ANC. So the ANC on this device is really good. So you get the ability to do three things with the ANC. Either you have the active noise canceling on, you can have the what's called hear through. So the hear through capability allows the headphones to be worn on the head. And at the same time, you pick up sounds from the outside that are essentially being blocked when you have your headphones on. Now, why would you want to do that? When I was walking around, walking my dog with these, I found that this ANC on this headphones is really good and quite strong. And what you don't get, and I, I don't live out in the country or in a rural area where it's a wide open space. I live closer to DC where there's a lot more traffic and, and cars and that kind of thing. I find having the hear through capability enabled allows me to find out what's going on around me. I hear a biker behind me. I hear, I see a car turning. I, I hear the, um, the ambulance going by all of these things that could be a problem. If you have a pair of headphones that block the entire outside world, if you don't have those sounds and cues that are going on, you may run into some issues, but the hear through capability along with the ability to listen to music at the same time or other features that you're listening on uh, streaming through the headphones are quite good. I find it, um, as good as the most expensive headphones on the market today. So the ANC, if that's something you want to keep your focus going through the day, to keep yourself concentrating as well as as you are, you're walking out with your dog or, or, or even a kid. The other thing, if you have kids, the ability to have the hear through available so that you can hear what's going on, you want that level of like, mm, I want to know if there's some mischief going on or I want to hear other things that are happening the hear through is something you want to enable as well on the device. And it's as simple as toggling through uh, the ANC button that's over here. That's the ANC button. 
and you can toggle the ANC, the here through, and you can assign this button a couple of things. You can assign it for what to do. So there's three, level, three different things you can assign to it. Also within the app, on, here through, and off. And if you don't want all three and you just want ANC on and off, you could do that. Or if you want here through an ANC and not the, the, the off option, essentially not to work, you would do that as well in the, oh, there we go. There's it. All right. So the ANC is good. I don't find any issues there with it at all. Inscribed into the headphones are the R and L. So there's a right side and a left side and what you'll find that that's important if you're right or left-handed it'll really change the experience from where the buttons are located now a lot of uh, headphones or the older ones put the buttons towards the bottom down here really not a good experience it's more ergonomic when you have to reach for them and they're essentially behind your ear and that's what they've done here with these headphones so the buttons are laid out the volume in this case and those three in a row are up, down, and then multifunction. And multifunction button, which is the one in the middle, there it is, that button will allow you to answer and disconnect calls. The layout of the buttons is really good. The ANC button is where it should be. You've got the button on the side for your Teams users. And if you're not a Teams user, that button will not mean much to you. Now there is a version that is called the UC version and it will, it will not have that team's logo on it. This is really for those Microsoft teams users, which there are consequently 270 million active Microsoft teams users. So if you're a user of Microsoft teams, you'll appreciate this device and what they've done in order to make your life a little bit easier. We're going to be doing more reviews on this 75. We'll do a follow up because things change and over time, either things break down very fast or they last a quite a long time. Now, if history is any indicator here, the first generation model of the 75 is still being sold and it's actually one of our more popular headphones on Amazon today. And I suspect that over time, as people start finding out this new device and reviews that come online, people start gravitating towards that. But if history is in any indicator as to how this should perform, it should last a while, but we'll stay on the case and we're going to bring you some updates on this as we start using this. So you'll know three or four months down the road, it's holding up, it's working fine. Nothing's breaking down or it is breaking down so that you have good information and good Intel on how good or how bad this has performed over time. All right. I want to welcome, I want to welcome you to our other videos that we have to our other podcast we're on youtube and we release content every week and if you want to get the latest make sure you bump the like button follow us here on amazon follow us on youtube or some of the, the other platforms that you may be watching so that you can get the latest content we have tutorials we have tips we have tricks we have updates on a lot of these devices and we regularly push out updates over all of the social media links that we have. And we really appreciate that because that'll help the message of what we do spread to more users. So thank you for, for following us. Thank you for joining me today on this review of the Jabra Evolve 275. We'll bid you a good day, a good night, and I will see you next week.